Chapter 1 Democratization Protests Around the World Hong Kong citizens protest against extradition and national security laws. Protests by Thai citizens against military dictatorship and the Lessie Majest Law. Protests by Myanmar citizens calling for an end to the military dictatorship and the establishment of a democratic government. Many countries around the world are now desperately seeking democracy and freedom. What can I do against the great power that oppresses citizens? The oppression of citizens is severe, and the sacrifice of the people continues to this day. Watching their neighbors collapse and die by state violence, citizens are stricken with despair. What can I possibly do? What can I do against the enormous power that oppresses the citizens? Here are the citizens of Gwangju, Republic of Korea, and all over the world who suffer and despair against the same kind of pain. Chapter 2 The Story of Gwangju In 1980, a military coup d'etat took place in South Korea. Gwangju, which had rejected and rebelled against the military government until the end, was suppressed by the military after the death of its citizens and the military government of Chun Doo Hwan came into power. In the process, the media was forced to distort the coverage of Gwangju citizens, turning them into mobs and the resistance into riots. What is the current status of the struggle of that day, which was referred to as a riot and ended with failure in Korean society? In the current calendar, May 18 is written as the Gwangju Democratic Uprising Memorial Day. Commemorative ceremonies are broadcast on TV and on the internet, and numerous politicians attend to show their democratic support to the people. What could have caused this change? The beginning of this change started with the record. Chapter 3 Records of Gwangju Citizens Citizens recorded their experiences of this event in order to convey the truth of the situation and how they were sold out and repressed by the mob. Fighters Newsletter Statement Journalists, notebook and cameras. Diary. Even after the fight against the martial law army was over, the citizens of Gwangju evaded surveillance and collected scattered records, visiting each person who had experienced the uprising, and they collected testimonies, keeping a record of that day. When the instigator of May 18, the Chun Doo Hwan regime was in power, no one could speak freely about May 18, so collecting records was like risking your life. The first documentary book about May 18, Kwangju Diary, was published in secret to avoid police surveillance. When this book came out, many people were shocked. The book was banned, and even owning it was grounds for arrest, but tens of thousands of copies had been distributed, and it quickly became an underground bestseller. At that time, the author showed the power of truth, which brought many people outside of Kwangju to tears as they read the book. Something similar happened in Argentina. Chapter 4. Argentinian Nunca Mas Nunca Mas is a significant phrase meaning never again. This is a saying that exposes the atrocities of the military government that ruled Argentina. In 1989, this report was submitted to Argentina's first elected president on behalf of CONADEP, which is the National Commission on the Disappearance of Persons. This report of the atrocities of the military government between 1976 and 1983 was written based on the victims' accusations, testimonies, and supporting documents. The report confirmed the number of missing persons and exposed all kinds of atrocities, including illegal detention, torture, and kidnapping in the camps. Shortly thereafter, it was released to the public under the title of Nunca Mas, and the first 400,000 copies were sold out in one night. This report exposed the brutality of the military government through records that no one could deny, astonishing everyone. This report has been characterized as the work of ants that produced huge results, and it continues to resonate deeply as a symbol of the South American civil movement to this day. Chapter 5 May 18 Recorded as Art after the May 18 Gwangju Democratic Uprising, the stories of that day were put into art and shared around the world. United World 
Song of Bamboo Spear Protesting People Gumhi's May Ah, Kwangju, our country's cross, and the massacre played a role in remembering and recording May 18 as works of art that conveyed the pain and truth of that day to the public. Chapter 6 Picasso's Guernica The Spanish bombing of Guernica also became known to the world through artistic records. In 1936, Spain was in the midst of a civil war between the Republican government and coup d'etat rebels. Guernica, a small town in the north, was supporting the Republican Party and they suffered great consequences because of that support. The coup d'etat rebel leader, Franco, asked Hitler of Germany to attack Guernica, resulting in the deaths of one-third of the inhabitants and the destruction of three-quarters of the entire town. Shortly after, Picasso heard the news and created a painting about Guernica's tragedy. Like Guangzhou, an entire region was sacrificed, and the horrors of Guernica were revealed to the world through Picasso's work, Guernica, the following year. Even today, the pain of the people who were sacrificed in political struggles and the brutality of ruthless power is vividly remembered. Records and memories through these works of art are still continuing into the 2000s. Chapter 7. A record that proves the truth. May 18 ended with civilian deaths, but the citizens continued the fight for truth to this day. The process is in line with the development of democracy in Korea. The people demanding the truth of Kwangju led to the election of the president through a referendum through the June struggle in 1987. In 1988, the Kwangju hearing was held as a TV broadcast watched by all citizens. In 1990, compensation for the May 18 victims began. In 1996, two former presidents responsible for the May 18 atrocities were arrested and tried, and those who had been imprisoned with heavy sentences for rioting were acquitted. The May 18 records are still being excavated and collected. Those will reveal the actual command system, firing order system, and human rights violations such as the killing of civilians, injuries and sexual violence at that time of the suppression in Kwangju. Also, the records are becoming very important data in the investigation process of the May 18 Democratization Movement Truth Commission to find secret burial sites and the disappearance of certain people. Chapter 8. Indonesia in 1965 there is another country like Korea where the process of finding out the truth through records is taking place. Indonesia in 1965. Massacres took place in Java, Aceh and Bali at the beginning of President Suharto's 32-year reign. Between 500,000 and 3 million innocent people were raped and killed. The colonel of the Indonesian Intelligence Command said this is a revolt of the Indonesian Communist Party. The government sent telegrams to the commandos in each city saying, kill the Indonesian Communist Party, and they started to arrest the communists. Communists were detained, tortured, kidnapped and killed without trials or justice. This case, which had been buried in obscurity for a long time, was exposed to the world in 2012 when the National Human Rights Commission of Indonesia established a fact-finding team in pursuit of information about national violence and they conducted an investigation into state violence between 1965 and 1966. In 2012, through the records collected by the team of fact finders, the National Human Rights Commission of Indonesia confirmed and announced that the tragedies of 1965 were crimes against humanity and murder, detention, torture, looting, sexual assault, forced labor, discrimination and deportation were perpetrated. In this official announcement, the National Human Rights Commission of Indonesia recommended that the Minister of Justice establish a human rights court to deal with crimes in accordance with the Human Rights Act, and they also enacted a new command system in the military that carried out the massacre. Confirmation of this truth is the result of finding and collecting the testimonies and records of people who experienced the event. Later, in 2017, the last diplomatic document of the United States government was discovered and released, revealing that they were clearly behind the Indonesian massacre. Great Britain and Australia have also been proven to have played a role 
which is that they were involved in the genocide of developing countries, even in what were then referred to as developed countries. These inconvenient truths are essential in building a better future and in developing our own strength. Like South Korea, the Indonesian military is still denying its atrocities. As there is no punishment, they are continuing to excavate and collect more records like South Korea. Chapter 9. Changing the way of recording and remembering. As IT technology further develops, and with COVID-19 majorly impacting the entire globe, the world is being forced to change rapidly. The way we record and remember our history is also changing and evolving. Protests in recent years in Hong Kong, Thailand and Myanmar have instigated a leaderless, decentralized and horizontal social media protest around the world. Content that has not been reported through the existing media networks is made known through individual citizens' social media, and instead of representatives from each country, the voices of solidarity and support from local communities, civic groups and individuals are being heard. Even though it is not certified press, it is the personal record of each citizen so the world can remember together. The large-scale rallies and protests in Hong Kong being planned and run online, relying on digital technology, have deeply inspired protesters around the world. Currently, it is impossible to resist in Hong Kong due to the national security law and COVID-19, but the records they learned while walking in the streets in 2019 have been archived and recently released to the world. A Google search for the word HK19 manual provides access to publicly available Google documents. It is a manual documenting the records of the people's struggle against the government in 2019 in Hong Kong, and it is called the Crowdsourcing Protest Manual. This document covers everything from organizing protests, how to refine event ideas, guidelines for personal safety, and information exchange and collaboration between field and online activists, to instructions on extinguishing tear gas and making petrol bombs. Even when the press was closed and reporters were arrested, citizens recorded and communicated through cell phones and social media, and they became recorders of history. Hong Kong journalist Mary Hui wrote this idiom. The body of a knowledgeable citizen. In order to prevent memories from fading away, we ourselves must become knowledgeable citizens who record and remember the scene of the democratization movement and connect with future generations for justice.